All right, real estate agents, we're at the end of 2020. We're about to do our business plan for 2021. So here we go. Anytime we talk about business planning, um, you know, we talk about numbers and metrics and what we're going to do next year and what we want to do, but we never really look at the whole, okay? Because in order for the business to run, we have to be running too. We have to be in good shape, good condition, and be able to focus and push through 12 months to accomplish our goals. So what we're going to do today, we're going to start off with something called um, the, the, the circle of life, right? So we're going to go into where are we now? There's seven boxes here where we talk about work, money, love life, family, spirituality, friends, and self. So we want to know where we're at in order to figure out how or where we want to be and what we have to do to get there. Okay. So this form is pretty simple. Reach out to me if you don't have it so we could fill it out together. I could show you, uh, in person if you like. So work, okay, seven boxes of life. So you're gonna put down where you're at right now with work, okay? Uh, you're gonna have to grade yourself. So if work is, you know, not so great, you write down two things that you're struggling with, the biggest struggles in the area. So one could be lead generation. Uh, I don't prospect enough. Um, you know, I need an assistant or I need a set schedule. I need to be in the office from eight in the morning to 5 p.m. So you write down the two things that you rate yourself. You're making a lot of money, you're killing it, you're happy, you know, you might grade yourself a seven or an eight, probably not a 10 or a nine because you want room for improvement. You always want that extra room for improvement. Money, where's your money situation? You know, do you have debt? Um, if so, you're probably not gonna be a seven or eight. You might be a two or three. Um, uh, do you have reserves or do you have investments, things like that? Okay. So two things that you're struggling in, you might want to be more liquid if you own a lot of real estate, or maybe you don't own real estate. You want to get into owning real estate. So you write down there, I need some assets, love life, same thing. You know, what's going on in your, in your love life, um, you know, with your relationship with your spouse, or if you don't have a relationship, you know, you might have a zero in that column or a one out of 10, right? Um, family, you know, spend, do you spend enough time with your family? Do you know, do you, are you present with your kids? Are you present with, um, your family members when you hang out with them during the holidays or are you on your phone? Are you giving them the attention? You know, when's the last time you've seen your siblings? Um, so if you're struggling there, you want to make it better. You write down two things that you're struggling with. Then you rate yourself spirituality, same thing, you know, um, you go into, do you, do you go to church? Do you meditate? You know, for me, I put in there, you know, I have to be very consistent with my miracle mornings because that's what really gets me going when I meditate in the mornings and I do my, uh, my, my whole little routine of um, affirmations and visualization. That really helps me spiritually. Friends, you know, do you need to level up? Do you need to stop hanging around with certain friends or do you need to spend more time with friends because you've been ignoring them? Um, you know, that's important. Do you need to take any girl trips, guy trips? rate yourself there self okay that's this is a big one you know do you love yourself are you spending enough time um and doing things for yourself growing yourself so right here i said hey i need to read more i want two books a month okay right now i'm maybe doing you know book every two and a half three weeks so i want to make it consistent one book every two weeks um i want to start working out more because you know your boy i mean i know i'm you know i got some some i'm yoked a little bit but you know i want to be a little bit bigger so um, I want to be healthier here with self. So you rate yourself. That's where you're at today. Okay. And then after, after you do that, we will talk about the visual wheel of life. Okay. So if you, if you said that you're a five on the, on the work part of things, then you go one, two, three, four, five. You circle that self. If you don't take care of yourself. You're out of shape. You're overweight. These, these things, you might be a one friends you know you might be a, a five family you might be a four love life might be a zero so then what you want is you want a visual representation of where your life is right now so you start connecting the dots in a perfect world you'd be balanced you have a perfect circle most most of us aren't so most most of us our circle isn't a circle it goes like this like that like this down here you know it's it looks completely opposite so the whole point is having a balanced life so we want to find out where we're at right now, visually look at it, see where we're going in the future, where we want to be. So we fill that one out. 
<clears throat> once we figure that out, we fill this box out. Where will you be? Okay. And you write down money. I will have a hundred thousand dollars in the bank work. I will have a set schedule. Start at eight, leave at six. Um, why? So I can see more of my family right here, you know, date night once a week with my, with my wife or girlfriend or, you know, kids, I'm going to see my kids, you know, uh, I'm going to play baseball with them in the backyard every day. So whatever it is that you want to improve in your life, you put here and then you rate the importance one through seven. So if your family's number one, then you put number one. So, so you start setting, uh, appointments in your calendar with your, with your kids, with your wife, and then you set that up. So that's number one. What's number two? Let's say it's money. So then at that point you, you set yourself a personal budget and you start going into that budget, you know, and, and creating it. So this is what we need to do first in order to allow us to start filling out our goals for 2021, our, our, our work goals, our money goals. But we have to make sure that at least we're trying to be and live a balanced life. If you want more information on how to fill this out, reach out to me, DM me, and we'll talk.